Hey guys, how's it going? So today's video is going to be how I registered for my um, dorms housing registration. And I did it two days ago, so it's pretty recent and thought that if anyone in the future needed some help um, with this program or if anyone in my program hasn't done it yet, I'm going to talk you through what it looks like and what you have to do. So down here I have my laptop that has um, the screen capture that I took and so I'll and be including some screen capture videos if I can and if they don't show any personal information. So, um, if it's personal information, you get to see my face. Congrats. Hope you love it. Um, so yeah, the first thing you're going to see when you log in is your dorms, a Disney on-site resident management system home screen. So you're going to put in your username and login and go ahead and log into that. Um, my laptop remembers mine so if you don't remember hopefully you have a Mac and it remembers your iCloud keychain. When you log in you'll see the home page and you'll see program acceptance, housing registration, and event calendar for your future program block and then underneath it they have the Wi-Fi information, the transportation schedule, and the cultural activity report. Um, so you're going to go ahead and click on housing registration. If you try to do it before housing opens, it won't do anything. It says, I think it says like error, um, wait a few weeks or something, or you'll get an email when this module opens. So go ahead and click on housing registration. When you do that, that is going to go ahead and bring up your profile. Here, I'm going to bring it back to my face. Um, so it has your personal information. So. This is where you get to put in your name that you want on your name tag. So for example, my legal name is Elizabeth, but I go by Liz with two Zs, which is kind of weird. Um, so I wanted to make sure that they had that on there. They do have the rules for cast member name tags, so it can't be, it has to be a de um, derived from your first name, your middle name, or your last name, and it can be initials. So if like, I have a coworker whose name is Alexis, and then her last name starts with a J, or her middle name starts with a J, so she goes by AJ, that's allowed. Um, so if you have any questions, you can click on that little link that they have right here and go through that. Um, ask your gender, your cell phone number, whether or not you want text updates, your email, your home address, and then it shows you what program you're doing. So I'm doing the Walt Disney World Florida Spring Arrival 114, Departure 516. And here's where you show if you're bringing a vehicle, which is one. Um, I am not, so I clicked no. If you want to request married housing, if you're married, I clicked no. If you need um, disability housing, I clicked no. And if you want to opt out of Disney CP housing, I also clicked no. So I'm sure if you need um, any of those things and you click yes, another page will pop up, but I am not doing any of those things. You also put in your emergency contact here. I put my mom, um, so ask for their name, relationship, phone number, and email if something bad happens to you. So at the end of this page, out of all of the pages in housing, you'll get this text at the bottom that says that you enter your birth date and you click the box um, with no dashes um, and that's going to signify as your e-signature for these things. So it'll show you how to do that. Just make sure you know your birthday, which I'm sure you probably do, and that's going to be your e-signature for all of these documents. So next, once you click next on your e-signature, it's going to bring up a code called the Community Codes Forum. I am not, I'm pretty sure this is the one, yeah, so this is the one that goes over um, if you're under 21, you can't have alcohol, there's no drugs, there's no profanity, there's, um, it goes over the security of each complex, and then again, you read through that, and then put in your birthday as your e-signature, and check the little box saying that you recognize that your birthday is your e-signature on this legal document. Once you click next from that form, it pulls up the payroll form. This is where I found pretty interesting. It shows you the breakdown of the, what the rent is going to be in the different complexes and the different room variations. Um, which is a lot of people ask about in the Facebook groups and things. So if you really want to know for specifically what your program is, it'll be in your housing registration. So again, you go down through the housing document and read through everything. And then again, your e-signature is your birth date. You click the box, make sure you know what all that information is. You can also print this out. They actually ask you to at the end and there's a little print icon where you can print it or save it for a new day. All right, now we get to the fun part. Um, once you click next, past all the legal documents, you get to do your roommate preferences. So there's two options. It says, the first one says, 
I am adventurous, please select my roommates for me, and the second option is I know who I want to live with. I personally did choose my roommates, so I went ahead and selected I know who I want to live with. Once you do that, the maximum amount of people you're allowed to link up with, it changes for every person and for every program. I was allowed three, so four of us total, and then I was the leader. So if you're ever com confused on that, choose one person in the group that you want. When you get the housing email, you'll get your housing roommate number. Make sure one person gets all of those numbers and is ready to link up with them. So I was that person because I was pretty confident in the process. Um, I've seen a lot of videos before and things like that. So I had my number and my three other roommates numbers. So, so underneath they say that like, please know that these are preferences. We'll do what we can to value them, but it's not guaranteed. Um, so you have roommate one, roommate two, roommate three, you put their number and then you can click the validate button underneath to make sure that that's the person you want. So with my roommates, I've typed in their number, clicked validate and it shows their first and last name, made sure that was the correct person I wanted for all three and then I click next. All right, after roommate preferences, you get to do your housing preferences. So it goes through and tells you what the double occupancy and triple occupancy rooms look like. Um, it says that there's a possibility that none of your preferences are available and they'll just do your, know that these are preferences, they're not guaranteed, not very many people get their first choice. Just roll with it, be happy with what you get, you're living in Disney. <laughs> so it'll go through, show you the prices of rent for each complex once again, and at the bottom of the page, the first option is I am adventurous, please place me. And the second option is I want to specify my housing preferences. I personally don't really care about where I live, um, but my roommates did, and so we, have a group chat and we talked about which ones we wanted to place and where. So you go down and you click I want to specify my housing preferences and without having to click next they'll pull up all of the options. So those are the only options they're giving me because I linked with three other people. If you link with less you can do the one bedroom two and the two bedroom four. So but because there was five of us or four of us you know different options come up. And then you just click and drag which ones you want to be at the top. Um, so at the top is your most desired, at the bottom is your least desired. Once again, these are preferences, but I do think it's fun to put your preferences just to see what you get. Also, if you want to make changes to your housing list, the only person who can change them is the leader, so me. If we were to later go through and decide that we wanted to change our preferences, only I can change them. If anyone else changes them, they won't be saved, so just keep that in mind. Alright, once you are done with your housing preferences, you click next and it just pops up a review of everything. Make sure you scroll through all of your information, all of your preferences, make sure you have the right roommates, your right um, emergency contact, things like that. Make sure everything's right and then click next at the bottom. That is done, then you are done. They want you and then at the end that pops up your onboarding pass. So my, most of it, it's just a document, it has a barcode with a number underneath it, make sure you print that. I went ahead and printed all nine pages, just to be sure. I'm sure you don't have to, I've seen people on the Facebook page who say you only need the onboarding pass, but I went ahead and printed everything that housing showed me, just in case I need them. Other than that, you are good to go. The roommates you linked up with will then get an email saying, Liz Dellinger wants to link up with you, do you accept this link? And they have to click yes or no and whatever they want to do, but they will probably click yes. Um, there's a button for, at the end for you to go back to the homepage or you can print it. Like I said, I went ahead and printed all nine pages. All right guys, that concludes my dorms Disney college program housing registration. If you have any questions, let me know. It's a pretty self-explanatory process, but there is a lot of buttons and there's a lot of confusing things that go on. So if you have any questions in the future or for this program, please let me know. I'll be happy to answer them. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you later. Come on.